Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. Today we have an exciting Ulta haul. Oh my gosh, I freaked out when I saw this. So, Ulta has a whole Barbie collection out, tons of Barbie stuff, and I got the last Barbie hair beach waver. Let me show you guys this. We're gonna unbox it together and try it out. I cannot wait. So, ah, here it is. Such cute packaging. Look at that. So it's collaborated with Chi or Chai. I think it's Chi, which I, I actually had a straightener by this brand and it worked really good. I think I got it at the mall at one of those like kiosk stands and it worked for a long, long time. It still works. I still have it. But so cute and I am so excited to try this out. I have been loving all of the Barbie collection things. Like there's this set of wine glasses and champagne glasses and coasters and all of that from Amazon. And I've been like debating on getting it, but I don't want to go like overboard because sometimes I go like overboard and get obsessed with things. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's gorgeous. Wow. So pretty. Oh, I'm excited. I've been wanting a beach waver too. Like ever since I've had like the extensions, it's either I curl or straighten it, but now that my hair's long, cause like my hair underneath, like that's my natural hair, it's very short. I can't do much beach waving with that, I feel like. I can't believe how short it is. I think it's getting shorter. <laughs> but this is gonna be fun. So I think it, I, use, I got a birthday. I'll show you guys the rest of the stuff I got from Ulta too. I love Ulta, Ulta over Sephora all the way. I got my birthday gift, which was just like a little shampoo. I'm getting a phone call. Here it is. Wow, this is big. Oh, that's gonna do some pretty waves. Ah, my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in and we'll let it heat up. And I'll show you guys what else I got. I just got like a couple things. Wow, this is big. 370, what does it go up to? Three, goes up to 410, and low at lowest is 330. So I think I'm gonna do 370 right in the middle. We'll let that heat up. Okay, so what I got was another one of these killer liners by Too Faced. The best eyeliner for your waterline. I will show you guys. It is so nice. It doesn't smudge in the corner. I used the whole entire pencil and from my last time, and I'm like, yeah, I'm buying that again. That's the best eyeliner ever. Like, look at this. So dark. You don't even really have to press down hard. It does not smear, and it says it lasts 36 hours. It's waterproof, like, all of that. Like, look at the difference it just did with my eyes. I usually put some up top too. It, it just makes your eyelashes look longer and your eyes pop out more when you have eyeliner on. And I love getting it in black. So this is literally the best eyeliner ever. And I've always worn black mask or black eyeliner on my water lines. I've tried everything from Target and Sephora. I've tried it all. That is seriously the best one ever. So we got that. And then I needed more makeup wipes so I got these little individual ones I love bringing these to like sleepovers and stuff and then I got a big size been completely out I've been scrubbing off my makeup with soap and water and then this was my birthday gift it's a bonding concentrate like a conditioning redken and then I got this resetting refreshing mist I saw it in the checkout and I thought that seemed nice for summer. So that is everything. I love filming in this spot in my makeup room. The lighting is so good. There's windows on both sides of the cameras. So the lighting is so good in here. We're gonna push out the hair. And now I'm going to spray it with heat protectant. Can't breathe. Whew. We put a lot on because this is like a clamp and you hold it on, so we need a lot. Okay, I pinned up 
the top. We're gonna do these two bottom chunks here first. Ooh, it's hot, okay. It's warm. Now let's not clamp our ear off. This is gonna be cool. Okay, we don't know how long to leave it on. Maybe like that. Okay. Just burn myself a little bit. Do, do, do. Cause it's like not supposed to be super crimpy, obviously, like 80s vibe. It's beach wavy. Ooh, this is working good. So there's a, okay, I love that. Ooh, so there's this Barbie Xbox that's coming out. You only can win it, it's like a giveaway. I want it so bad. Like I wish they like sold it too, but it obviously probably took like a lot of work to make it. it looks like a Barbie house, but it's an Xbox. So cool. So I actually as a kid never even really played with Barbies. So I don't know why I'm like obsessed with it now. My time has come. I, as a kid, I played with like Webkins, Little Pet Shop. I did lots of computer games too, like Club Penguin, RuneScape, Minecraft. Like I was kind of like a a Minecraft girl as a kid. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So I put this up on my Mochi. Come on, come back up here. She's hitting the bell to go outside, but like. I'm in the middle of something. They always do that. Like even today with lunch, I don't know if I should do this side one more time. Like maybe tighten one of these up like right here. I made my grilled cheese and tomato soup. It's piping hot and I wanna eat it. And then they gotta go outside. Happens every time I cook my food. So then I just eat my food cold. <laughs> okay, put this one back over there. Come back up here. Okay, we have our, we have two more chunks down. But yeah, I was never a Barbie girl. I liked playing like with the animals and all of that more and on the computer. My dad got me and my brother a computer. I was, I think I was either four or five. <laughs> so then my brother was like seven or so. He's three years older than me. So we were around something like that age, six, seven. So I was, I've always been a computer girl. I cannot wait to see this Barbie movie though. I am so excited. I haven't even seen the trailer. I know it's gonna be good though. Like I feel like they're finally coming out with new movies again. There was a time after like COVID and everything where I feel like, you know, actors couldn't be acting and movies just weren't being produced. But I feel like it's like back in order again. And like there's tons of new movies coming out and all of that. So I saw the new Insidious the other day and it was pretty good. It was it was scary and had lots of pop outs, but I was kind of confused. Like I feel like the plot was just a little bit like back and forth. I don't know, I think the other ones or maybe better. I feel like that's usually how it goes though. Like the first ones are always better. I don't even remember the first ones. So maybe that's why I was like a little bit confused. But I think The Conjuring is better than Insidious. I love this. I am, okay, so I put this on my story, what I was saying and someone I know swiped up and was like, that thing is horrible. I have it in pink. I, I disagree. <laughs> I think it looks like it's working so good. I, it could be very easy to burn yourself though because my thumb is honestly hurting from where I tapped it. It's just like so big or it's easy to like burn yourself so you gotta be careful. So it's the 1.25 inch triple barrel deep waver. 
so if you if anyone's interested in getting it I'm sure you can get it you know not in the barbie collection at any time okay pretty what you doing hershey okay last row of hair So this row, we want to go like closer to our scalp. Wait, maybe I should tie this, this piece up here off then, because those are the pieces we're going to want to like really crimp. This is fun, because I never know how to style my hair. It's either just curl or straight and, or like a ponytail. I'm not good at like doing anything fun. <laughs> like I don't really like my hair half up, half down. And this is another way I can do it now. And it's not taking that long either. I'm almost done. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life is plastic. It's fantastic. When that song came out, it's kind of funny because like that was before people were like, I feel like getting like filler and lots of like plastic surgery work is like so much more common nowadays. And like that song is kind of like about that. I mean, it is a Barbie talking, but like in a plastic world, life is plastic. It's fantastic. You can brush my hair, undress me everywhere. I was singing that song as like an eight year old. Wanna go for a ride? Sure, Ken. Jump in. Oh, I love this crimper. So I'm going to dinner here soon with my friend. And I'm gonna have her take pictures of me when we get there. It's like a very pretty winery, so I'm gonna have her get some pics of me. Maybe I'll get like a sangria or something so I can like hold something in the picture. I always don't know what to do with my hands in photos. So like I like to be like holding something. They both went to the vet today. I got their nails cut. And they both got weighed. Her, she's 32 pounds. Mochi is 29. Which I feel like that's kind of inaccurate. Like I, like the scale they use, like they were like, so the dogs were so excited, like moving around on. I feel like it's not accurate. But I mean, they are kind of heavy when you pick them up. Like you would never expect it. They're small. Like they're very small dogs, but they're just like thick and very muscular. But yeah, you would never guess that they were like her, she's 32 pounds. Cause Cookie was 35 pounds and she was much like beefier. You know, she was a bulldog, but I mean, they are too. But French bulldogs are much smaller. Oh, this is so pretty though. Oh, I love this. Okay, last little bit of hair. I feel like that's not close enough to my scalp. It is hard to do it like around your head and your face. It's like you can't get too close to your scalp. But I mean, I guess that's fine because it's like beach waves anyways. Ooh. I feel like I want to get closer. I'm going to grab like a really thin piece up top and then go up close like that. Yeah. Give myself some volume. Okay. Maybe if I like tease it a little bit up there. Okay, let's do the other side. Oops, I started at the bottom. Oops. Ow, I burned my fingers so bad. Wow. Oh, okay, this thing is dangerous. Like that is just a lot of heat, like this whole thing. It's literally like holding up a freaking skillet. Like, <laughs> literally, that's, ow. Okay, how do I look? It's like giving mermaid. I feel like I need to check the back and make sure the back doesn't look odd. Does the back look really bad? Oh, not actually too bad. Okay, let's now spray it with some hairspray. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna like brush it out a little bit.
What do we think? Oh, I, I love it. That worked really, really good. If you guys want to see me try out any other heat tools or anything like that, let me know. This video was fun, and I love the out outcome. Wow, I've never like seen my hair done like this before. So pretty. I still feel like this piece in the front looks kind of weird, but... Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.